Okay, most of the boys have gone to the mosque, but there's still a few here left chewing. Like these guys. Like this. <laughs> We've left the Omo Valley for the city of Harar in Ethiopia, also known as the city of peace. We're here to do two things. One, feeding hyenas the worst way possible, and to try chat. Chat contains the alkaloid cathinone, a stimulant which is said to cause excitement and euphoria. The WHO classifies it as a drug of abuse and can cause psychological dependence, but it's everywhere here. Let's learn more. Hey, welcome to the streets of Harar in Ethiopia. Hey man, how's it going? We are on the border near Somalia right now and we're coming here to do something a little bit crazy you'll see tonight when it gets dark. But on the way in, we saw all these people holding these big bags of green leaves. It's chat. We're gonna find some, try some, and talk about it. This is it. <laughs> they say it gives you pleasurable excitement. That's what they say. Look at the leaves, they're like very glossy. 500 beer for this handful. Cool, in this view. <laughs> I'm a second album. 500, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought this was like for a, a week. This is for a day. All right, our local contact said besides the chat, we need to get some peanuts. These apparently they go really well together. As we're uh, dodging traffic through these hectic streets in Harar, all these Ethiopian men are like, brother, brother, woo! And I look over and they're giving me a thumbs up because I'm carrying a big bag of the green stuff. Because we gonna get high, boy! This is Ben, who's helping me film the Ethiopia trip. He's having a good time. We were going to chew it on the street, but our local contact, Abby, had the perfect spot to meet the locals and chew. So, we dive into the back alley markets of Harar, Excuse me. where I'm a hit. Excuse me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just took a little piece. It's really bitter. Oh, it tastes almost like a really strong basil or like a dandelion leaf. <laughs> this wasn't where Abby had in mind, but the locals see my cat and call me in. They've never really seen a white guy with a bag of it before. So we go say hi. Okay, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Look at all this chat, man. Chat, 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 chat. chat. Everyone's got a bag of chat. chat. Oh. Yo, this is chat here, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's literally everywhere. Yeah. It was one of the most apparent things we saw when we first arrived in the city. Yeah. Was everyone's got a bag. If I'm not careful, I might lose mine before yes, I get to try it's it. It's a good cat. It's good cat. How do you know? Good cat. This color? Yes. It's good? Yes. Yeah, very good. Ah, uh, all right. The peanuts are supposed to cut the really bitter taste. <laughs> oh. But do I do I whoop? Do I swallow? Yeah. I do swallow. Like whoop. All right. There's too many sources. Some say swallow, some say don't. I got some peanuts. I'm supposed to cut the bitter taste. Yeah. <laughs> I've had maybe five of these leaves. Besides tasting like I'm licking the bottom of a lawnmower. Uh, don't feel very much yet. Don't feel. <laughs> but every, everyone's everyone's very interested in my fresh stack of chat. I broke one of the golden rules of cat: keep it in the bag and keep it off the ground. Oh, uh huh. Okay. Doesn't go on the ground because some people have their stinky feet on the ground too. Like this, on the plastic. Part of traveling the world is making terrible mistakes and getting reprimanded. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've learned. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a second alum. Thank you. I'm a second alum. I'm a second alum. Boom. Boom. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Ooh. Okay. I'd like to stay, 
but we've got a date. You want a bite? Ah, everyone wants a bite. Finally, we get to where we're supposed to be. This is one way cat is commonly consumed, and there are rooms dedicated specifically for it. I get called out for sitting too upright. <laughs> like this. Like this. Like this. <laughs> I, obviously, was not relaxed enough to be here. So like this, this is good. So one like this. Yeah. Ben's being swapped out for Gato. Okay. Gato. You are a pro, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just... Oh, 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 I get a coffee too. Ah, amazing. I'm a second alum. And what's your name, my friend? Uh, Mustafa. Sofa? Mustafa. Mustafa. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mustafa. Mustafa. So we do coffee. We do double stimulants. We do cat and coffee together. The boys, show me how it's done. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just... Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> I've had four leaves and my mouth's already like Gandhi's flip. <laughs> Honestly though, Ethiopian coffee is like pretty much a drug already. Coffee is basically espresso and you always get a triple. You actually pick off a bunch and you roll. Roll and then in. Okay. Oosh. <laughs> oh, I'm a second one. One of the guys wants to see the camera, so I hand it over, and I might have created Harar's first YouTuber. I mean, this is a pretty chilled way to spend an afternoon, right? I've got to say, this is a much more chilled video to film. We've gone from hunting baboons with the Hadza, sprinting for our lives for 10 hours a pop, so having a cigarette, a coffee, yeah. and some chat, chilling with the boys. This is our local guide, Abdu, and he's going to explain something. We are in the house where the people gathering to have their chats, that we call barcha. Locally, we call barcha when we are gathering everybody. And during the time we have chats, when we begin to get high from chat, we have a pray that we mention the name of the prophet, and that pray will help to everybody that good healthy and good work and good life. Allahumma ya Rabbana ya Rabbana ya Rabbana ya Rabbana ya Rabbana ya Rabbana ya Amen. 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 All right, Ben. So we've chased baboons, got some scars, seen some shit, and now we're chewing leaves with the boys. Cat, what's your experience? I mean, it was definitely positive. I enjoyed it. I felt a high. It was at points it was difficult to tell what was the coffee, what was the <laughs> cigarette, what was the cigarette, smoke, and also this shit. What was the chat? But I mean, I enjoyed it, and as I noticed, as soon as I went out in the light, I definitely felt a bit more alert. Mmm, positive. I'd like to try about four times as much. <laughs> <laughs> Wish granted. Like they, mind readers. <laughs> so maybe we'll take some back. And try no, let's some pull more, some more out. Yeah. For me. I didn't, I didn't smoke a cigarette. I'm more of a cigar guy. I did have two cups of coffee. That does the job as well. I've probably chewed like a condensed fistful yeah. of cats so far. And I gotta say, hold on, hold, hold. There we go. I still got a big load in my cheek here. I gotta say, I feel super awake. Not uh, out of control, 
I mean, if you have like nine cups of coffee, I think you're, it feels like your brain's gonna explode. I don't feel jittery. You? I definitely don't understand why it's illegal in America, Canada, UK. It's a controlled substance. Here, it's totally legal, by the way. But around the world, there's many countries that made it illegal. But it's not a, it's not something you chew and then go punch a dude in the street like, like alcohol. You don't really get high. We feel like I feel happy. Mm. It's supposed to be like pleasantly excited. Yeah. Do you feel pleasantly it's a, excited? It's a nice natural high with a natural substance. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Kind of makes me want to kiss you, actually. That makes me pleasurably excited. <laughs> Maybe it's just a cat. <laughs> okay. Shukran. <laughs> bye bye guys. On our way to Harar, Abby, our local guide, had some insight along the way. There's a problem with Chad because Chad is taking over the good land as for agriculture because they grow more Chad because it's a cash crop mm -hmm. instead of growing fruits. For example, in this region from Diridawa all the way to Harar back in the days when we grew up, there was fruits like oranges, mandarins, all kind of stuff. All that stuff has been taken over. In some of the areas in the south, people are growing chat instead of coffee. Mm. The north, which has never seen plantation of chat, is growing chat to near the Blue Nile. Well, of course, everybody needs money and it's a cash crop. But at the same token, chat is addictive and it's taken the life of an oh, entire generation away because these people, after lunchtime, they sit down and chew just like goats. Mm. <laughs> and it's a waste of time. You know, so it's addictive. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for the society. That's my opinion. A lot of my friends might disagree because they say, hey, people have changed their lives because they have become wealthy. Yes, it's a cash generating crop, but the consequences, what it does to society is very destructive. Okay, most of the boys have gone to the mosque, but there's still a few here left chewing. Like these guys. Right here. Also enjoying some cup. How was it, guys? A little bit jittery, a little bit jumpy. That's a side effect, don't worry. <laughs> you? A little friendly. So an important part of chat, relaxing. Listen, the reason people come to Harar isn't necessarily to hang out with goats and eat chat. <laughs> There's something that happens here at night that involves hyenas. You can lady in the tramp style feed a hyena with meat at the end. So picture this. Hyena, human. That's what we're doing next. Big love to Ben behind the camera. Gooey. Gumbo for being my Africa guy. Here. And big love to you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Feeding hyenas on Fearless and Far. See ya.